The first Old Testament story after Adam and Eve's expulsion tells the story of Cain and Abel's offerings to the Lord. A few chapters later, Noah departs from the ark, builds an altar, and offers his own sacrifices. The first recorded burnt offerings Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. This is a practice which, by this time in the Old Testament story, seems already well established. Abel's offering, while not a burnt offering, establishes the proper prioritization for an offering and reflects the proper heart of worship Genesis chapter 4 verse 4. The choice parts of the animal are offered to God by fire Leviticus chapter 3 verse 16. The worshiper can consume some of the animal, but the best cuts are devoted to the Lord by fire. The burnt offering was a completely consumed offering, one that left nothing but ashes. It is sometimes called the Holocaust sacrifice because everything goes up in smoke, hollow, whole, cost, burnt. In Genesis, Abraham travels through Canaan building altars and presumably sacrificing upon them Genesis chapter 12 verses 7 to 8, 13 18, following the customs of those who had gone before him. A burnt offering in the Bible was a sacrificial act where an offering was entirely burnt as a tribute to God. Here are some key points about burnt offerings. The Hebrew word for burnt offering means to ascend, symbolizing the smoke ascending to God. It was a form of sacrifice described in the Hebrew Bible, particularly in Judaism. Burnt offerings were offered every morning and evening to mark the boundaries between day and night. The purpose of the burnt offering was to symbolize complete surrender and 